Hello guys, this is the third of six learning videos I made for the IT and Media Lab at the ANCA project. The things you learn in this IT and Media course help you prepare for jobs you might want to apply to later. For most of the job applications at companies and businesses today, you have to send an application by email. When you apply for these jobs, you make documents that describe you as a person and more importantly as a worker or employee. The most common document to show your achievements and skills is a CV. CV stands for Curriculum Vitae. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a good CV using the Google Docs program on your computer. First of all, what is a CV exactly? A Curriculum Vitae is a marketing document in which you present yourself and put all your work experience in a chronological order so that the company can decide if you would do your job well. You have only one or two pages to show that you are the right person for the job, so you focus on the skills that you need for this specific job. Secondly, what information should you have in your CV? Some enterprises want specific information but generally, you should write about the following things. First, personal details. Your age, your contact, and profile picture. The second thing you should think of, your education. What school you went to, and what you learned exactly for how many years. Or also, education that you did after school, like maybe university or some kind of training. The third is work experience. Really, any experiences you had working will be appreciated. But you should focus more on the work that is similar to the job that you are applying to. So, when you have worked on a job that prepared you for the one you want to do now, you should focus on that one mostly. Number four, achievements. So, the things that you have done successfully, with your own effort, skill or courage. Number five, you should explain what your skills and abilities are. So what talents you have that help you do the job well. Six, your hobbies and interests. What you like to do in your free time can also be interesting for the employer. So if you say that one of your hobbies or interests is football, then you can rely that to things like leadership, if you are the captain of your football team, or team working. It is very important that you write the information in an understandable and short way. Now, I've talked a lot about how you make a CV, but I haven't showed you yet how to do it. Well, first, let us open Google Docs. Here's where you find Google Docs. Now that you've opened Google Docs, you can click on the blank page. Before we even write anything, let's set up the page so that we can have more space to write. For that, we click on File, then on Page Setup, and then we change the margins so that at the top, the bottom, left and right side, there is only one and a half centimeter space. Now that we've done that, you can already see there's much more space where we can write our text. The first thing we're going to do is write our name and our surname and center that text. Then we press Enter, and in the next line, we write our address, then we put a separation line, we add our email, another separation line, our phone number, and finally, maybe our website. But here, with the email, you should remember to remove the link, so that there's no blue and underlined text. You can change the font of the name by making it bold and maybe bigger. Now that we've done that, let's list up all the text blocks in all caps. First we have education, then the experience, then the achievements, skills, interests, and finally references. We're gonna add borders to each one of those. First we have to select the text, then we click on format, paragraph styles, and borders and shading. And there we click on the upper and the lower borders, and just click apply. See what happens? A border on both top and lower side gets added to the text. We can do the same thing for each of the other text blocks. So now we're ready to add the information. First, in the education, 
you should write what school you went to. Here I say my school name, then I put a separation line and I say what subjects I had in school. I can say my strong subjects were math, language and history. I make the school name bold and change the font of the strong subject to italic. Then I add the address of the school or just the city and the time period I went to that school. Once I wrote all that, I separate the address and time from the school name and the strong subjects to make it easier to read. Now I add a list and say what my grade was and maybe what other achievements I got so that I joined the student council. The next thing is experience. Here I add that I went to the TNL, the National Theatre in Luxembourg, to work there as an assistant. Of course, on the right side, I always have to add where it was and how long I worked there. And then below it again, I list up the things that I did, the work that I had. Since that wasn't my only work experience, I make another little block inside the experience block and I say that I worked at the Anka project as a teacher assistant. Then I add the place and the time on the right side and then I list up the experiences that I had working there. The next thing is going to be my achievements. For example, I can say that I got to the second round of a language contest and that I won 100 euro. After that, I can list up that I ran a marathon. And after that, maybe something more related to business. I can say that I started my own online business. The fifth block are your skills. So skills that you already have now and that you could use in the job. It would take too much time to show you all the words that you can use to describe your own skills. But I will leave all the interesting words that you should use in the video description. The second last block is the interests. So the things that you like doing or that you find interesting. The first thing I'd like to add is that I watch football or that I play football. There, if the person reading your CV also is interested in football, you have a higher chance of being selected for that job. After that, I can say that I like making music or listening to it, that I played the piano and percussion instruments. And lastly, I can say that I love watching movies of filmmakers like Quentin Tarantino. And if the person that reads this CV also likes those filmmakers, there's a much better chance that I will get taken for that job. Oh, and also, this is something I should have done in the beginning, but every document you make should have a title. I will call my document CV and give it my own name. By the way, Here's another interesting tool I wanted to show you. Whenever you select another font for a text, you can copy that font and apply it to other pieces of text, just as I'm doing here. As you can see, I made the word movies big, and now if I want to do the same for the other two words, I just click on this symbol and copy it onto the other ones by clicking on them once. For the final block, the references, I recommend you make a table. You make a table, by clicking on insert, then on table, and right in here you can select how many rows and columns you want in your table. So now, with those four columns and two rows, I can give the contact information of two of my teachers. My math teacher, Mr. Johnson, has something good to say about me, so I add his telephone number and his email address. And then I can also add the name and the contact information of another teacher. So now that I've finished the CV, I can just close the document and then whenever I want to send the job application, I just open my Gmail, write a new email and add the document into the email as an attachment. You click on the Google Drive symbol and then you find your documents. Now before I end this video, I want you to remember that there's different versions of a CV you can make. You can make your CV look more like a long text or just like the one we just made. Also, feel free to try out the Google Docs program whenever you're around here at the Anka IT and Media Lab. Alright, that's it for the lesson today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.